$11 billion Large Hadron Collider was constructed in a bid to recreate conditions only milliseconds after the Big Bang. Scientists hope the data collected will unlock the very particles that made life as we know it possible. They'll literally take less than a second, but after years of preparation and billions of dollars, the Large Hadron Collider was ready to launch another wave of experiments. Scientists from around the world gathered to witness the collider's beams smash a number of subatomic particles with the energy of 7 billion electron volts, just a nanofraction slower than the speed of light. What we're doing now is bringing the collimators, these uh, blocks that come in very close to the beam and act to protect the experiments if anything goes wrong. So having done that, we can go into stable beams and then the, and, and then the experiments can switch on the detectors fully and start taking data. Initially, the experiments were delayed due to a glitch with the beams, but soon the seriousness of science turned to jubilation. Experts say the data being collected is the beginning of a new era of science here on Earth. Located about 100 metres below the Swiss-French border, the Collider's magnet line tunnel is almost 30 kilometres long. The experiments by the European Organisation for Nuclear Research will allow them to examine the nature of matter and the origin of the stars and planets. Four experiments will create different collisions in the tunnel, producing a wide range of data. We are just at the beginning. Clearly we have to do a lot of work. We have to understand our detector, to understand physics in this new region of energy. But uh, if we are lucky, in, within a few months we'll be able to really start a major adventure in modern physics and hopefully unveil some of the biggest mysteries still surrounding the cosmos after nearly 14 billion years.